Hi, I'm Cynthia Kahn, founder of Amuse Now, and I'm here today with Ruby Modine, singer, songwriter, model, and actress. Hey, Ruby. Hi. <laughs> just, just want to give you a big congratulations on your new music releases. Thank Tell you. me a story in radio. I love your sound. It's very original. Tell us, who are your musical influences? Um, I have a lot of musical in, uh, influences. I um, They usually sprout from people that I have in my life, but people that are known to the world, Amy Winehouse, Joan Jett. Um, over the past year, I really became addicted to uh, Taylor Momsen of The Pretty Reckless. So I love that. But um, let's see what else. I, it's funny because I have yet to uh, be able to record a song that's of my genre, which is, you know, hard rock and metal. And I love the songs that I've recorded so far, but um, my next song that's coming out, A City Set of Flame, I'm going to be recording it with my band, Your, Wild Your Wildest Dream, which I just officially got. And it's going to be a much, much harder song. It's going to be really loud, so I'm really excited. That's terrific. How did you get into writing music and lyrics? What's your musical background? Um, well, I've been writing stories since I was uh, in elementary school, actually, uh, because I'm a very, very visual person. And I've always found that uh, I get I get what, I, what I'm thinking a lot better when I, you know, like uh, the visual thoughts that I have, I write them down on paper. And it's a really long process, but one that I really, really love. And after I write what I see in my head down, it, it, it like eventually will become the song itself. And it's just always worked for me. And I've always painted what I see in my mind or I'll draw something out. And if I look at what I'm drawing or if I look at a story that I've written, the song just comes to me. Recently, actually yesterday, to tell you a very true and awesome story, I was working on a script and I started to write a new song in my head, which is going to be a love song, so I'm really stoked about that, too. So when you say you draw, do you actually write books and illustrate them, too? Yeah, I, um, I uh, paint and I draw. If I had all of my portfolios before me, I would, I would give you a little like presentation. But um, yeah, I, I've always drawn and painted, but the stories that I write, which are usually very grim or, you know, I, I don't know. They're, they're all types of adventure stories. But um, it's just all, a, I've noticed a process that is connected. What I paint will become a story or what I've written as a story will become a painting. And then both of those will combine into an amazing song that, you know, you know, a lot of what I've written actually isn't even out there. I worked with a band in New York City. Uh, called Air is Mine that influenced me and told me that I had to get my music out there and that I had to stop hiding what I was writing. So everything that I do will combine into one finally and then I'll re I release it. <laughs> so it's, it's a long process but, but I really do like it because it really makes me think and it really makes me get all of the emotions that I'm thinking about out on paper. It's very holistic. I love that. Yeah, and it's literally from everyday things as well. I could be walking down the street and I see like an amazing tree and I'm like, wow, I'm going to paint that when I go home. And then I go home and I paint the tree and then I think I'm going to add something really cool to it. And then it just becomes little by little something bigger and greater. Yeah, that's how I am with my painting too. Oh, I think we think? get along great. <laughs> we have to swap paintings. You can see behind me all my stuff that I have on my wall. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I'm okay, excited. back to the, the what we're here for. I see also that you've been very busy acting. You have three films coming out this fall, Memoria, Violence in Women, Julia, plus you have another movie in pre-production called The Bagman. Tell us about those projects. Well, uh, Memoria, I'll be shooting uh, this coming October. It's based off of James Franco's book, Palo Alto. And it's going to be directed by Nina Letty, who I originally met on the set of another film that we did together, which was directed by uh, Shandra Garrison and produced by James Franco. So this will be the second film that I work on by him. But um, 
it's a really, really cool story. It's going to be about, you know, teen, I'm, I'm not going to give away too much, but it's uh, teenagers roaming around California, you know, falling in love, drinking, partying, skateboarding, and um, it's like a coming of age story. And then The Bagman is an animation film that's going to be directed by Christopher Stout, who is phenomenal. And they've drawn a little character of me in cartoon form. So that's really, really rad. And uh, w uh, you asked me about Julia. Did you not? No, you asked me about Yeah, violence. I asked you about Julia and Violence and Women. Violence and Women is incredible. I And I, and I mean that because it's going to be a feature film, which uh, I'm actually telling you first. Uh, it's going to be shot in March 2014. It's going to be shot in New York City, and it's a dark comedy, totally grim, totally gory. It's amazing. It's going to be directed by Chad Ostrom. And then Julia is a short film that I'll be working on with my father and Leon Vitale. So there's a whole mess of, of films that, are, that I'm about to work on, and I'm so excited because acting is my first passion and always has been. So I'm excited. It's going to be really hard, and it's going to be a lot of hours, but it'll be worth it. Wow, speaking of your father, Matthew Modine, I know that you starred in several of his short films. My personal favorite is Somebody. I absolutely love it. And I just wanted to know, what's it like to work for a parent? I have a teenage son. I can't imagine him working with me. It's, um, honestly, it's amazing. Because, awesome. No, because you, um, you have this relationship with your parents that is just that you know the, you're you're the parent and that's the child but then when you when you break that boundary and, and you go into work mode it's kind of like that that's no longer present you're listening more for the advice that they're giving you and my father's always been a very very big mentor for me and and I you know he, just the other day we were working on a, on a scene together and he's not my father in that moment he is he's my director he's telling me how to do my best and on top of that I I grew up on sets my entire life and I would watch him on camera and when the director yelled cut he would come behind the camera and go you know do you think that I could do something better and I would give him advice so it's you know it's a swinging door it's so it's really cool and and I really really love it and I'm gonna continue to work with him until he's he's had enough <laughs> it's great it really is same with my mother actually she she's industry based as well and she's she's worked with me on a couple of the projects that I've done and she gives me great advice too that's terrific I'm glad you have a wonderful relationship with your parents that's great thank goodness I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> well I see that you have a really extensive website and we met on Twitter so why don't you tell us a little bit about how you use social media to make new contacts and to promote your work Okay, well, <laughs> I uh, am not really into social networking. I, I used to have a Facebook, and it just continuously brought me grief from it. <laughs> so I, I jumped off of that. But I'm not even really in short, uh, entirely sure how to use Twitter. So I have a lot of fun on it, you know, promoting music or bands that I love. And like you said, we met on Twitter, but um, I work on my website as often as I can and I'm always updating it. Uh, my boyfriend has been telling me that I need to make an Instagram, so that's probably going to happen as soon as you and I are finished with this interview. And uh, I just really enjoy talking to everybody. Uh, you know, like I said, mainly on Twitter, I am... Um, it, a lot of people say that you're just supposed to be using social networking to talk to specific people, but I think that you should you should talk to everybody. So I, that's why I like promoting myself. Do you use any other marketing channels since you're not super strong on social media to get the word out? Well, I will have an Instagram within the next 24 hours, Ruby Modine, and I'll link it to my Twitter. And I am in the – how do you say that? I am in – the motion of making a Facebook page. So within the near future, I should be on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and my website. So <laughs> I should be able to be reachable everywhere on the planet. There you go. <laughs> everywhere in the virtual world. Yes. 
So I have to stick to, to Instagram. <laughs> Since Amuse Now is about artists helping artists, why don't you give the young artists who are also trying to make a name for themselves uh, some advice? Hard work. Seriously. It is, it, and I mean this, there are days where you cry because the dream that you want is taking so long to get, but you know, to, to reach, but it really does all come from hard work. You have to wake up every day and have a new goal. You seriously you get what you put in and it's it's just hard work. That's that's it at the end of the day. And so my advice is to have a dream and work towards it as much as you can and never give up. Stay as positive as you can. That's good advice. <laughs> Hard work. That's, that's what it is. It, it doesn't. Ma you don't magically wake up, right? Pixie dust yeah. doesn't come down. There, there know, are few people. There are few people in the world who have been blessed that you know they they wake up overnight and have this incredible amount of fame. But it it only happens to very few people. So I believe it's hard work. And I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ruby, it's been fabulous talking with you today. I love getting to know you better. I hope that when Amuse Now launches its e-commerce site that you'll consider adding us to your music and video distribution channels, and I wish you all the best. Of course I will. You can talk <laughs> to me. I'm going to add you on everything. <laughs> Thanks. Good night. Good night. Hi, I'm Cynthia Kahn, founder of Amuse Now. This featured artist presentation has been brought to you by Amuse Now Entertainment, a website that enables artists to profit from their creativity. To learn more about Amuse Now, visit us at www.amusednow.com or email me at ccon at amusenow.com.